Hey guys, Madison here. So over the past couple of days, I have been obsessed with story time videos. Specifically like really creepy story time videos about like stalkers or about ghosts or about like possessions or Ouija boards or stuff. And it got me inspired. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. For a while now, I have been convinced that my house is haunted. I have seen so many of these paranormal story time videos and every single person always makes a sequel or a part two to it and they always say that it's gotten worse since they made that first video so i'm like slightly terrified that um i'm just gonna die after i upload this video i can promise you right now that um i am not going to lie in this video i am telling the 100 percent truth and i'm going to rationalize everything um, so that you guys know the absolute full story. So one of the first things that happened once we moved into this house, we moved into this house three, about three years ago, and a couple of months after we moved in, some things were off. One of the first things that happened was that in my parents' room, randomly at like random times in the night, they would smell this really horrible odor um and we live in southern florida so it's reasonable to think that you know oh it's just the swamp at night because sometimes um we're like in wet places at night it'll like get really smelly but it was it wasn't the smell of like sulfur that like it usually smells when a swamp like starts to stink up it was just it was it smelled like something was rotting. And one other thing that was going on simultaneously with the smell is that my mom, one time I was in my room and I was like cleaning my room or something. And then my mom came in my room and was like, yeah, what do you want? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, well, why'd you knock on my door and then walk away? And I was like, um, I never knocked on your door. And she seemed so freaked out because she legitimately thought she heard someone knock on her door and walk away into my room. That's what happened when we first moved into this house. And that was the mild part of it. So after those first couple of things started happening, then everything like it got calm for a little and like nothing else happened. Um, and then I had this bright orange watch that I got one time when I went camping because I wanted to be able to find it whenever I could or whatever. So it was a bright orange watch and every now and then it would go off and it would usually go off in like the middle of the night and I would have to turn it off. I remember specifically one night I took this orange watch and I put it inside of my little jewelry. I had this bowl where I put all of my bracelets and I put the watch in there. And then I went to bed. And then in the middle of the night, I heard the alarm. So I went over to the bowl and it what the watch was not in there. And I was like, like what? I was so confused. And then I started following the sound and it was inside of my, you see that right there? It's like a, it's like a side table kind of and it has three drawers that pulls out. And it was in the top drawer where I put like my glasses case and hand sanitizer and stuff like that. And it was in that drawer, but I specifically remember putting it in this bowl with all of my bracelets. So as you guys probably know, I am very loving of my cats and I have always had cats my entire life. And when we first moved into this house, we had a cat named Squishy and um, he was a very chill cat. He was always very calm because we raised him from the time he didn't even have his eyes open. We rescued him and he was very calm and very chill and he just didn't care about anything. And when we moved into this house, we would always see him like staring up into the corners of the room or just staring blankly behind us. Not at us, but behind us. And a lot of you know, ghost specialists or whatever, they always say that small children and animals can see things that we can't, whether that means spirits or just bad energy, they can sense it and they can feel it and they can see it and we cannot. Okay, this this thing that's been going on, um, it's been going on for a while and it 
happens like sporadically. I never really know when it's gonna happen, um, but it always seems to happen somehow. So downstairs, we have a living room. Duh. We have like a little L-shaped couch, and then we have a TV and a TV stand. And um, I used to always watch TV there just because I didn't have Netflix and I would just watch TV. And um, every now and then I would be watching TV and then the TV would just turn off. No explanation, no reason. It would just turn off and then I would turn it back on and it would be fine, nothing was wrong. It just turned off for no apparent reason. And some people might say, oh, you know, maybe it got overheated. But like, it would turn off and I would turn it back on immediately and it would be fine. So I don't know if it like magically cools down when you turn it off, but um, I don't think that's how it works. But I just thought it was really weird because like I would be sitting on the couch, the remote would be a couple of cushions away, but yet the TV would turn off. Don't know. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is, it's kind of iffy, so like, a little bit over a year ago, I became a vegetarian. And around this same time, which is why this is kind of an iffy experience, I guess, is um, so around the same time that I became vegetarian, I started to become very aggravated very easily. Someone could blink too many times and I would just snap and I would be so mean and nasty and I would just become so aggravated by the smallest things and my family realized it and they would be like they would joke about it and they would be like oh this is what happened when you don't eat meat i never really thought about it in the paranormal sense until like i started watching story time videos about these people that would play with ouija boards and then they would become like possessed and they would get really aggravated i don't i'm not saying that i'm possessed i'm pretty sure i am not possessed but I know of people that have had paranormal beings in their house and that affects them and it affects their attitude and it just makes them very aggravated a lot of the times when like there's no reason to be aggravated. Something else that is kind of weird is that um, I will wake up with scratches and I'm not talking about just like, oh, it's red when I first wake up and then it goes away. It'll stay red and inflamed for extremely long amounts of time. It'll stay red the entire day. I don't have, like, look at my, I don't have nails. I chew my nails and that's a really bad habit that I should break. But like, I've had long nails maybe once and during that time, I never got any scratches on myself. Like one time I woke up and I had like this burning sensation underneath my boob. <laughs> and i was like that is so weird so i like looked and there were four scratch marks and they were bleeding literally bleeding and i still have the scars today like it's insane and i don't know how it happened because i don't have na how am i supposed to scratch myself and whenever i tell people about it they always say like oh maybe your cats did it but I keep my door closed and I, I know that I keep my door closed because I cannot fall asleep without my door closed. This is, this is crazy. So I have a few things that have happened fairly recently in the past two months and they're probably some of my scariest experiences that I've had. So the first experience that happened, it was around the time that school started and and when school is in session i take showers at night just because i don't feel like i can i feel like i would fall asleep in the morning if i took a shower um in my bathroom we have like a counter with like the sink and then there's a bunch of counter space and on top of that my sister has this little makeup store makeup storage bin and she puts like all of her stuff on it in it i mean <laughs> I always make sure to fold up my glasses and I put them on top of this makeup storage thing. And so I did that like I usually do and I went in the shower and I was taking my shower like a normal person takes a shower. And 
halfway through the shower, I heard this large, like, something fell on the floor. I just dropped my pen. And, um, I was like, that's so weird. So I look out of the shower and my glasses are, are on the floor next to the shower. Mind you, the storage bin and my shower are probably about three to four feet away from each other. So it's not like the air conditioning came on and it like made my glasses fly across the room. Like that's not, my air conditioning isn't as strong as like hurricane force winds. Like no, it flew off of this makeup storage bin and next to my shower. And I have no clue how, like how does that even happen? I don't, I don't know. And not only was my glasses like just there, they were also like one of these was like folded open. <sighs> like someone unfolded it, had this and threw it. And the most recent thing that has happened, and this is gonna be the last kind of thing that I'm gonna tell you guys, is that I was staying home from school one day. So I was on the couch and I was eating my breakfast and I was watching TV. And while I was making my breakfast, I had seen all four of my cats and they always like to go and play in our pantry. And our pantry is like really big and like it has a bunch of turns and stuff. And they were like playing in it because they like to play in there and they like to play in bags and stuff. So I just, I let them go in it and I left the door open. And then I went out and I started eating my breakfast. And so I was doing my thing and then I heard this slam. Like, it was loud and it scared me so bad. Like, I don't even know how, <laughs> okay. So I heard the slam and I got up and I walked into the kitchen and the door was closed. And I was like, what the heck? And then three of my cats, every single one of my cats, except for my black and white cat, was out of the pantry. And then I open up the pantry and my black cat, my black and white cat is right in front of the door, just like staring up at me. And I was like, this is so weird. And then he like ran out, like he was scared of something. And then I closed the door and I was like, how did this even happen? Like, it's not like my cats were, like my cats can't shove a door closed that quickly. And when that door slammed, all three of the the tabby cats that we have, they ran out of the kitchen. And like, I don't know how a cat could slam the door that hard. It's not like it's a super light door or anything. So that's really all I have to tell you guys for this week's video. Even though I don't even, I might put this video up like as a random like midweek video or weekend video or something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's my first like story time type video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up because I might need those thumbs up to like hire a priest to come and cleanse my house. Yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in my next video.